Beautician's friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hypnotizing Fire from The Harmonist. If you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep watching. As for transparency purposes, I purchased this, so this was not sent to me to review. Hypnotizing Fire is one of the fragrances from the niche house The Harmonist. They are a luxury niche brand. They have boutiques in Paris and I believe LA and I think that you're going to be able to start seeing them in high-end department stores like Saks or Barney's. I don't quote me on that but I know that some people have found these I think in New York so if you know if that is correct let me know in the comment section below. But this is a house that I initially was really excited about because the concept of this house was really interesting and it was feng shui for fragrances. It was kind of a spiritualistic, artistic take on fragrance. And I reviewed other fragrances from this house. I have four. This is my newest one and this one so far has completely blown me away. So the notes in this, you have pimento pepper, you have Bulgarian rose, Indonesian patchouli, vanilla, and opoponex. Um, it's considered, um, or it is like a sweet myrrh. It's a resinous, smoky, just really kind of interesting smell. And I find that that note is very predominant in this scent. This scent, I was not sure what I was expecting because like all harmonious scents, I blind bought this. And so I was just kind of taking a risk. I was like, this one seems really interesting. I like the idea of the pepper. I like the idea of the kind of like that resinous, um, smoky sweetness that this note has on top of the patchouli, vanilla, and the rose. And I was completely blown away. I opened this, I smelled the cap, I was like, it smells all right. I mean, it smells nice and wearable. And then I sprayed this on my skin and it just kind of opened up into something completely spectacular. Best way, the best way I can describe this scent is it smells like a boozier, a uh, little bit more decadent scent of uh, 1899 from Hysteria's Day Parfums. It's got kind of like that like a sweet dry nuttiness in there but it's got like a spiciness and there's just like this the rose in there is just really intense and really really beautiful i'm not saying that it smells identical to 1899 but you know how it has that kind of warm nutty juxtaposition with like the cool spices that's kind of like what this has in regards to the opopanax and the vanilla are giving it kind of like this smoky almost boozy note to it which works really well with the uh the rose and i find that the the pepper in here is giving it a little bit of spice and spiciness but it's not crazy harsh or sharp it's actually kind of velvety or suede and just really really nice and very luxurious it's really hard to describe like the different notes in the uh, fragrance and it's one of the fragrances that i was like how am i going to review this because i'm going to be jumbling my descriptions like i am now but it opens up spiced and just very luscious and deep and just rich with the rose and then that beautiful pepper and you get a little bit of the patchouli and then when the opoponax i know i'm mispronouncing that i'm sorry comes out it comes like a little bit nuttier a little bit more incensey smokier and very resinous and that paired with the vanilla with the rose gives it this boozy like quality that i find to be really really spectacular Overall, I've noticed that a lot of people um, don't try the Harmonist, and I understand why. These bottles are very expensive and they're hard to sample. But if you're one of those people out there that likes really rich, luxurious rose scents and you want something a little bit different, a little bit more unique, definitely recommend trying Hypnotizing Fire. It's, again, a resinous, although it's not boozy, there's no booze note in there, it kind of smells a little bit boozy, with the vanilla and the opopanex with the rose. It's just a really spectacular spiced rose scent, but it's a little bit different play on that type of composition that I find to be really beautiful. The scent also has really nice uh, longevity. I get about six to eight hours on my skin and it has moderate protection as well. I really love this scent. It's unique, it's interesting, but it's still wearable. And I find that the rose in here is something that I don't see done very often. So I am really impressed by this scent, but I definitely wouldn't recommend blind buying these like me. So definitely sample this first. And always remember guys, just because I like something doesn't mean that you're gonna like something. You're the expert when it comes down to scents that you like, scents that work with your body chemistry and generally what you think is a good deal or not. So always take my reviews with a grain of salt and surrender yourselves to your experience and your expertise because in most cases you guys know more than I do. 
any case guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and as always i hope you guys are having a happy day month year whatever i know it's, i've been sick so like my head's all jumbled but any case guys thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye